Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3. When last we left off we ended up uh, going on the search for Hjalmar, the son of Crate on Crew or whatever they are. And uh, we've ended up finding one of his uh, party members, Folan, eh, who was about to be cooked by trolls. The trolls were very upset that I managed to beat them in a riddle contest and uh freed our man Folan. he was looking a little red here and there not surprised though being baked alive or boiled alive rather signs of a battle you ain't kidding they ran toward the caves giant chased them Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. Ooh, lucky for that one, hmm? Went this way. Okay. Blood. Lots of it. I don't think they got too far, then. Another track. Follow the little red footprints all the way up the mountainside. Need to find another way. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. Giant's got big ass fingernails. Shouldn't hit bottom. I don't think Folan's going to be able to follow me, though, is he? Let's see what happens if it glitches out. Ow. Ooh. Ow. These are not sirens like I thought. These are freaking harpy s creatures. And they happen to have the name of the thing that I'm after. Yes! And I'm glad the, uh, the AI just teleports down to me, you know, because that makes life easier. Oh, excellent. Enhanced hybrid oil. Thank you very much, game. And we are going to apply said oil because it looks like that's what we could be fighting down here I probably should activate the uh, proper quest as well Pick up the mushrooms. Right, let's have a look over here first. Because we've got loot. Oh, and we got stuff in the water as well. Oops. 
breed a rune stone of something or other. And that looks to be about it in the waters over here. That's alright though. You know, that's more than what I had. Which is always saying something. They certainly like their black magic dolls. Know the aisle well? I've never been found. Oh. Let's get going. Didn't mean for that to happen. We're not running up there either. Okay, what have we got this way? Nothing. Nothing! We'll take a little swim over here. Clean cut. Head probably went flying. Well, at least he knew who he was. Hmm. Definitely came through here. We're on the trail. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Rest of the crew went on. Wonder how many were left. Hold on. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. Arvid and Tordorach. He was dead set on coming with us. Well, I'm getting a little bit more on who these people are, having uh, fallen with me at least. So hard to see down here. I mean, I know I could use the cat's eye elixir, but ah, you know. More harpy-esque creatures. They do nothing. Now, nah, these are harpies. Down you get. I forgot all about that. Ow. 
Right, that's all of those dead. I don't imagine whoever was up here survived. There's a chest under there and a ladder that heads up. Assassin's boots. Let me just uh, see what's on the other side of this. Anything? Nope, no secrets hidden there. There's another harpy though. Are these just going to keep spawning here, do you think? seeing here. Okay, right, that's it. I've had enough. Can't see fudge all in this cave. Uh, right. Now I can see. Of course I just had to jump up there. Shot half a quiver into her. Seems a little excessive. Great, now I've got necrophages. Pretty sure that's a necrophage or yeah. Some orange stuff there. Six hundred and thirty vitality. Wait, that's heavy armor. That's medium armor. Ooh, light armor. Plus fourteen percent hard sign intensity. Light armor pants. There's a button here that allows me isn't there a button to breathe? Oh no. Compare. Hold shift. So the ones that I'm wearing are actually a little better. Despite the fact that they're lower armor, they've got better resistances and more vitality so armor isn't everything certainly so we gain bludgeoning but lose a bit of resistance more even across the board what does it look like I uh, don't know if I like it What 
uh, sign intensities can I give it? I can increase Akshi, I guess. Boots. My boots have two spaces. Those boots only have one. And I haven't really picked up anything special, so I will swap out that grenade, though. Uh, we'll stick in grape shot. Nothing like big bada boom. Oh no, 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 no. doing up there I think the game might be slightly glitched here but I'm gonna kill this so it doesn't stick around on the map And just like so, they are all dead. Okay, that's all of that. Nowhere else to go there. There's a handy little dead end. said grab all of that I think we're nearly out of here folks right. let's get rid of that effect May have to meditate at some point. Get more white honey butter. I don't think they made it. Oh, God. Near 20 of them. But no Yalmar. Uh, more of those fun loving things. I figured we'd be getting Skellige long swords now that we're not in Velen. Yes, uh, they do a lot of trade with the Skelegians. Oh, she hot. 
How am I still alive? Stench. Ah, oh, fortunately it doesn't hurt him. Know the aisle well. Oh my god. Let's kick. Honestly, I can't wait to get rid of you, mate, because you're making loot stuff freaking nigh on impossible. Show me a pantry and I'll show you the mice. Find Hjalma. Went this way. Just keep following those tracks. Nothing like a jolly old jaunt through the Skelliger Isles. I don't even know what, uh, Undvik, maybe. Let's see where these lead. Fortunately, Folan hasn't taken any damage yet. Pick up all of that. Good bit of loot knocking around. Try and take refuge here. No, because that door is locked. And nobody's ever heard of putting their shoulder to a freaking door and giving it a bit of welly. Ah, uh, more uh, sirens. Hoyle equipped. I don't want insect oil. That's what I want. That's how it's done. How it's done. Fallen! I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres! She staked a claim to the throne then! And you'd have rather gone with her! I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. 
I'll never forget you came to my aid. Yeah, well, at least you know me. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. And my father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Find a way to the giant's lair. That yeah, shouldn't be a problem, I guess. Actually, let me just have a look here. Alchemy! Yeah, else I can make? Superior hangman's venom. Don't mind if I do. What do I need for superior hybrid oil? Albedo. <laughs> Ah, uh, still need a cave troll ever. Damn it. Oh, stop your squealing. Hurry now. Pick up the pace. See you're rare to go. Loot me. Apparently, I found some quest nails. Isn't that what was his name? I'm asked telling for? you, plow an enormous horse, son. He is wonderful. Nope. Yes, I can extinguish the flames. Because I'm clever like that. Can't believe I finally got the bathroom. Point. Yeah. Another 20 nails. Uh-huh. Only assume then that uh, we need to go up this way. I love how I've only got a life bar for Folan, but not Hjalmar. Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. Cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Find a win to the giant's lair. Seems to be a lot of gold in these there walls. Uh. 
that isn't the kind of stuff I can break. Getting colder. Gotta be close. Oh, this is gonna be quite the fight. Actually, actually, we are going to have a look at Ice Giant. Oh, Ice Trolls. Uh, Ogroid Oil and Ken Signs. Ice Giant. Yeah, fled one time in my life from the Ice Giant. And you know what? I'm not a bit ashamed. <laughs> this powerful primeval monster is quite possibly the last of its race. The Ice Giant resembles a man in many respects, but is blue as frost and taller than a tree. Although it seems capable of reason, all attempts to communicate with it to date have ended in the same way, in a quick and painful death. Okay, so, we know they need Ogroid oil, so we'll apply that now. We're going to apply the Ogroid oil before we go and uh, take on this ice giant, just like the ballads suggest. Oh god, this is not gonna this is not gonna be good. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. What you plan to kill it while it sleeps? Not very honourable of you. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? Thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Uh <laughs> Okay, we'll let him stay there. Alright. Guess he should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this, Uncrate. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now! How about no? Avoid snow. The sound of it crunching under your feet will wake the giant. Find the key to Viggy's cage using your witcher senses. There is a way to walk. Avoid snow. supposed to do or am I supposed to kill the damn thing? I mean... Okay, so we're going to be fighting an ice giant. Should be a piece of cake. Actually, to be fair, this is... Why, man? I was beating the shit out of it. Okay, no, that's only fair. Uh, 
Yourself. We never knew with Viggy. Might have rushed at the giant bare fist as soon as he was out. And that might have spelled death for us all. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Oh boy. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach near the port. Hell yeah, when I have a look around. Firstly, why would I not want to loot the giant? Yeah, I do wonder if perhaps maybe I should have let that Viggy chap out, but was under strict instructions not to do so. I think that's what's left of him. <laughs> oh well. Appear to be much else here. So, oh, I wonder if there's a quick way out of here. That's going to be a hard no. Well, to be fair, actually, I think the way out's to steer, isn't it? So it's not that far. Uh, King's Gambit. Is that the quest marker I want up at the moment? Secondary quest. Ah, uh, yes. Report to Crack on Crack. Get me the reward. They're going to wait for me at the port, apparently. Uh, so that is there, Mainland's Coast, I would imagine. So I just need to get to, duh, I need to mark it first. That signpost. Sirens are everywhere here. Right, so we'll head there. Maybe. 
Oh, here we go. Gonna head back to Hart Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead. And the folk of Unvik can go home. And Ceres? She back yet? Yeah. And she did what she set out to do on Speakerog. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, I'm great. Well, there we go. A happy ending indeed for this crazy bunch. Now, let's go and get my reward after fighting a giant. Admittedly, the giant fight yeah, it was a little bit janky, but, you know, it could have been worse. I do like how it just tears that guy apart when he's like pulling out his anchor on chain but you know I got my eye on you Master Geralt a guard spotted you from the tar they sent me to open the gate why was it closed is that famous Skellige hospitality me tis tradition after the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Ooh. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. Oh, you crack me up. Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Stop careful there. Oh, boy. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an aunt traits to wear the crown, it should be you. Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Don't your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! God damn it! Oh boy. Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw, she's so. so. Why, stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ceres, and they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Indeed. I'm saving my game. Respect Sorry about holding you up there, old bean. Yes. Oh, okay. I guess I've got to find my own way there then, yeah? Oh, yeah. Why do I have the feeling I'm going to find Crack dead? Not to your liking. This is no feast. 
It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Still think you should have been on that freaking boat. <sighs> Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bronn's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. You, I suppose. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. Uh, I want to be the uh, the matriarch to an entire freaking line of kings. <laughs> What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favourable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. <laughs> ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, the Hakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Okay, we got a fair old list of stuff to get through. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, naught else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. And Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Oh. 
the hell? What the hell? Okay. Somebody let in a whole freaking host of bears. Why do I have a feeling druids are involved? Big bloody bears. Though I am surprised that they managed to mangle an entire court, or an entire ballroom full of people. Though these are some exceptionally large specimens. Some cloth. Gotta stop them bleeding. Quick. Da. Da. Take my cloak. <coughs> Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shot grabbed my leg once. Albion. He's dead. Mate. Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos. And now you threaten my son. I would not step with this. Then come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate, find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Okay. We will see how they Anybody got in. See how the bears got in. Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait. Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Hmm. Uh, you know, Sarah's got a point. We've got to Sherlock Holmes this. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. Oh, I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Well, I've got a new weapon. Oh boy. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Okay, who died? No, who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Du, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, 
or trick. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Alright, well, firstly, Hjalmar needs to slow down. Because, you know, you gotta, you got to pass these things together, out. So no point in jumping in on better. shit, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, for now, that is where we're going to leave it, folks. When we return, we have a mystery afoot. And uh, we'll get to the bottom of this. We will bear this burden. <laughs> Catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.